Hey everybody, how's it going out there? Everybody doing okay? I'm coming at you today with a VR to Pipe Commanders 100 sub contest. So congratulations on the subs, Pipe Commander. Uh, enjoy watching your videos. Anybody out there, if you are not subscribed uh, to Pipe Commander, I'm going to put his information down below. Go check him out, see what you think. If you like his video, subscribe, listen to him. Um, I enjoy listening to your videos, Pipe Commander. Congratulations and many more to come. And so your question for the, uh, for, the v or for the contest was, what is a hobby or something we'd like to do other than pipe smoking? I could say cigar smoking because I really enjoy that as well, but I'm not going to say that. I'll be a little bit more creative. Mine is guns. That's right. Guns, guns, guns. If it goes bang, I'm into it. I enjoy it. And so, kind of like uh, I saw William uh, 043s, and I don't do any, like, tinkering, like trigger jobs and stuff like that. I can, you know, disassemble, clean, thoroughly, put them back together. Um, but I was, I'm on the road again, unfortunately, because I want to do this, and I want to show you some of my favorite ones, something that I like to do. That I like to shoot. Uh, a couple of my favorite. One is my 1911. Some people are 1911 lovers. Some people are 1911 haters. Hey, it doesn't make any difference to me. Again, if it goes bang, I want to be involved with it. I want to be. I want to be behind the trigger. And so I've got a 19, a Kimber 1911 and 10 millimeter that I absolutely love to shoot. So I was going to show that one off, but again, I can't do that. One of my favorite rifles is my M1 Garand that I got from uh, the DCM, the Department of Civilian Marksmanship. That's right. Our government selling military surplus to civilians. Uh, there's probably not a whole lot of them left at this point because they're trying to do everything they can to block that, but... I love shooting my M1, and I had there for a while before I started moving around to Texas and then back to Oklahoma. I had a um, a CNR Curio and Relic FFL Federal Firearms License, so I could go into a gun show, and there are certain classifications of weapons. I just hand them a copy of my FFL along with some cash, and they hand me a gun, no background check, no nothing like that. So I've got several and I really got into the military surplus and not only the military surplus I enjoyed one trying to find say guns that had all matching serial numbers finding out where the gun was manufactured what what you know not only what country but what plant what year what time frame you know trying to find some history I just I love that kind of stuff and then um, so that's one of my favorite rifles. Another one of my favorite rifles is at one of my hunting rifles, which is a uh, Remington 700. That's just pretty much standard uh, rifle there, but it's in a 338 Remington Ultra Mag, and that is a beast. I love shooting that gun. About the only time I don't like shooting it is when I'm at the range working up a new load. But if I've got a load worked up, I love taking it out and shooting, and so. Uh, my current goal is that is just to keep practicing at farther and farther and farther ranges. So, uh, but anyway, I enjoy doing that shotguns. I've got black powder. I love shooting the black powder as well. You hear love and shooting in a lot of this. See, now you know what I like to do. So I don't care whether it's pistols, rifles, whether it's, uh, you know, autos, revolvers, um, whatever, semi-autos. My AR, I love shooting my AR, uh, but you know what, I, I think I love, as much fun as an AR is to shoot, and I've got an SKS, that's pretty fun to shoot, I love that M1 Garand, I don't know what it is about the M1, maybe the nostalgia of it, I don't know, but it is, it is just a thrill to shoot, and so, and then, along with that, I enjoy reloading, so, Making your own ammunition, whatever you want to call it, reloading, taking a pile of components, taking, you know, your bullets, whether they be lead, whether they be copper, whether they be, you know, full metal jacket, whatever, taking your, taking your brass, you know, and I do, I like, I enjoy the process, punching the primer out, cleaning the primer pocket, deburring it, deburring the flash hole, trimming, chamfering, deburring the neck, 
if you've got a bottleneck or not you know the whole resizing cleaning tumbling i i tumble all my brass because we all know how much better you feel when you shoot a round of ammunition that is all nice and shiny and pretty so i love to make mine nice and shiny and then you know measuring out your powder and i enjoy the process you know you know, of course, you got a recipe. I'm not going to do a video on uh, reloading, but you got your recipe book, so to speak. You know, your mins, your max, manufacturers determine all of that. But you got to tailor that round to your gun and find out what's most accurate or, you know, how what you like to shoot in there. And so you load up, the way I do it, I load up a set of five rounds. On rifle, I'll, let, I'll load up a set of five rounds at one particular charge, go out to the range, shoot five rounds, measure my groups. I take uh, my micrometer out there and measure what I call the pressure ring on the brass, compare it to uh, a factory round, that way I know I'm not getting over pressure because you can tell over pressure a lot faster that way than you can by watching like, you know, flattened primers or backed out primers or, you know, stuff like that. And so uh, I'll shoot those five rounds, clean my, totally clean uh, my rifle and let it cool. And then I'll go measure my target, and I got a big, I've got a spreadsheet in the computer, of course. You gotta have a spreadsheet. Put everything in it, I write it down out there, then I take it back and you know, and you record everything that's going on, weather, temperature, wind, time of day, you know, what kind of powder, how much powder, what kind of primer, what kind of brass, blah, 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 blah. What your pressure ring is. Uh, I've got a chronograph, so I can shoot it through a chronograph, measure the speed of it. And then once that rifle is completely cooled, I'll shoot another five rounds because I like to start with a clean, cool barrel. And so, anyway, there's there's science. It's not just a guesswork. There's scientific. My, I am no means a math wizard or a science guy, but I just love the science behind that. And so, uh, figuring out the drop and everything like that. So, anyway, that's it. This is how about the longest VR ever. I don't know. I'm going to be about eight minutes. So anyway, again, if it has to do with guns, I enjoy it. I love teaching others. Um, I enjoy taking new people out to the range. And every time I go to the range, I love taking a handful. You know, I may plan on going out and working with whatever, the pistol, working with my 45 or something like that. But I'll take, I'll always take my 10 millimeter out. I've got a snub nose uh, 357, two inch ported barrel, titanium, so it is incredibly light. And it probably would be incredibly painful if it was not ported. Uh, and when you shoot that at the range, everybody else on the pistol range stops. And they look, and what have you got? It's nothing incredible, but it's the porting. It's that two inch barrel with the porting that makes it loud. And so, and people love to shoot it. I mean, it's nothing special, but people just love to shoot it. And I love to take a handful of guns, a handful of rifles out and, you know, trade. Oh, here, you want to shoot this? You want to shoot this? And occasionally I'll run into somebody that's got something that I haven't shot, you know, a pistol or, you know, we've at our range, we've got a specific range for 50 BMGs. And so, of course, when the guys are out there shooting 50s, you got to wander over, and eventually you're going to get an opportunity to shoot a 50 BMG. And so, anyway, it's a blast. I'm going to let you go, Pipe Commander. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you later.